Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you Japanese gestures and body language. So let's start with the V sign. So the V sign, peace sign, in Japanese we say peace, peace. So you probably have seen Japanese people make the V sign when they pose for pictures and I myself do that too. <laughs> so when we take a picture, we say, Hi, cheese. Say cheese. Right? We don't say say, but the cheese part is the same. Yes, cheese. <laughs> Hi can be used like yes or okay. So, okay, cheese. <laughs> so, Hi, cheese. And take a picture. So if you go for purikura, you know, like the Photoshop <laughs> effect, photo booth. Uh, everyone does this. You can do just, you can just use one arm or two arms or three arms if you have them. <laughs> and somebody asked me once if it's cringy uh, when a non-Japanese person does it. And of course not. Like you can definitely do it when you take a picture. In fact, Japanese people think it's a bit weird when uh, people don't pose like this. You know, Instagram has become a huge deal, right? So everyone now like wants to look cool and pose real nice, but uh, still this is the standard way. <laughs> and it feels actually awkward not to make the visa. <laughs> so yeah, your race doesn't matter. If you want to do it, do it. It doesn't look cringy at all. At least to Japanese people, it looks very normal. And now, if you're from the UK or Australia, get ready. This is also very popular and this actually is more modern and more, um, I don't know, it's more chic. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't mean up yours <laughs> in Japan. This is just another cool way to display the peace sign. <laughs> so I think in the US, this doesn't mean anything bad. I think it's just definitely we don't do this, but just this and and the next part, again, might offend you, but Japanese girls also do this. And this doesn't mean anything sexual, okay? This is actually to cover the chin or the jawline. This actually makes your face look smaller. That's what Japanese girls usually want when taking pictures. Uh, Japanese girls tend to think that the smaller your face is, the prettier you look. So that's what it is. It's just really to make your face look smaller, not licking any cats. <laughs> and just like this doesn't mean anything bad in Japan, this also doesn't mean anything bad. This actually is used when you want to cheer for somebody. <laughs> so this gesture is called guts pose, the English word guts plus pose, uh, but it's like fist pump, like yes. And Japanese people also do this. Yeah, yatta, yatta, ureshi. But we also do yatta <laughs> or kambatte. <laughs> Honestly, I use I've used it before. To us, this looks like showing some muscles and like it's kind of like use your muscles. So like especially when cheering for some sports team, uh, you can definitely think about that. Like use your muscle, like you know this or this. Don't look rude to Japanese people. <laughs> In case you don't know what this means, um, it means like F you in some countries. If it doesn't mean that in your country, then good for you. <laughs> Again, thumbs up can also mean something bad in certain countries, uh, but in Japan, this is fine. 
And also, I'm not gonna do this, but there is definitely here. <laughs> Flipping somebody off, so using your middle finger, uh, is not very common in Japan. Like Japanese people have seen it in TV shows, like especially the Western shows or Western movies. So we do know what it means, but it's not very common. Uh, instead, we just use words, right? Like. Sokurae, <laughs> eat shit. Uh, my favorite is when people uh, scratch their head uh, with their middle finger. It's very subtle. Oh no, it's like my favorite is when you <laughs> do the like music box. <laughs> now, if you want to offend somebody in Japan, you can pull down your lower eyelid and stick your tongue out. So it would look like this. And um, you probably see it in anime or TV shows. Um, mainly kids do it, like adults can do it, but they only do it jokingly. So it's kind of like this uh, gesture. So Japanese kids don't really do this thing. Um, it looks weird to me <laughs> and it looks, it looks like um, you're making some cute fairy ears or something so it looks actually cute so yeah actually when Japanese girls take pictures they do this it's cute it looks cute to me at least <laughs> if you want to taunt somebody you do this and <laughs> it looks gross I know this gesture is called at Akambe, akambe. So the etymology of akambe is like the inner part of your lower eyelid looks red, right? So aka, red, and the, the, I think that part is called like akame. You don't need to know that word, but <laughs> like red eye, like red eye part. So yeah, akame and then akabe, akabe. You can either say akabe, so you stick your tongue out with be part, or you can also just say be, be. So yeah, I did it as a kid, I think too. Like, like I don't care about you, be. <laughs> Actually, because I almost poked my <laughs> So since we're talking about eyes, let's talk about winking. So I cannot wink. I look awful when I try to wink. Like <laughs> I look like I'm having a seizure, so I'm not gonna try. But anyway, winking in Japan is not common. We do it maybe to seduce somebody. Oh, you could do it jokingly, but yeah, uh, I've seen people in Europe and in the US wink and it looks so flawless. Like, <laughs> if you do it naturally, it's quite common, right? It's like, uh, I gotcha. Or like, it's not such a weird thing, right? I, I'm sure it depends on the country, but... I've seen my friends do it and yeah, my friends weren't like trying to seduce the other person. Like I've seen family members do it to each other as well. So obviously <laughs> in that case, I hope they weren't doing to seduce each other. Be careful who to wink at because the other person could get the wrong idea. If somebody winks at me in Japan, I would think, oh, like, do they like me? <laughs> okay, Tsugi, can you guess what this means? So when people do this, it means crying. So we can, uh, obviously we don't do this when we are actually crying. If we are actually really crying, we would like, grab tissues and wipe our faces. But if somebody says something mean or I want to pretend to be really scared or something, I would do this as a joke. So, <laughs> so when we pretend to cry, Japanese people do this gesture. But when Japanese women laugh, we cover 
the mouth. So if you carefully watch Japanese people, you would notice that a lot of Japanese women, including girls, tend to cover their mouth. So there you go. <laughs> the shape of the hand doesn't matter. It can be like this <laughs> or like really, really cover. Like <laughs> all my female friends do it. Uh, male friends, not so much, but I've seen my male friends do this. They use the back of their hand and apparently it looks more masculine. <laughs> so they, I've seen guys do <laughs> And this doesn't look weird. It, actually, I think I've seen a manga character, a male character in manga, do this and it looked really cute. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not weird. So, in Japan, a lot of girls are taught that uh, laughing without covering the mouth looks a bit unladylike. So it doesn't look elegant, so you should cover your mouth when you laugh. And because it's ingrained so deeply in the culture, uh, Japanese men tend to think that it looks very cute. It looks very feminine when a girl does it. Uh, but I'm quite a rebellious type, so I don't do it. <laughs> but I actually did used to cover my mouth when I laughed because I was very insecure. So I've never had braces, so that wasn't the reason, but I have uh, dental crowns. So I was very insecure about them. And also a mean girl told me that the way I laugh is ugly. Uh, very, very mean. So yeah, that really made me not want to show my smile. Now I don't care. Uh, so I don't really cover my mouth when laughing, but I still do cover my mouth if I have to answer uh, while chewing. So generally that's not okay at least in Japan, but, but sometimes you really have to because it's emergency and you have to answer, um, then you'd cover your mouth and answer. I think that's kind of normal outside of Japan. Okay, Tsugi, can you guess what pinching cheek means? <laughs> so I think in the US, you'd pinch baby's cheeks because they're so cute. Right, so they're like, oh, so that's what uh, pinching cheeks means, I think. Like, you want to show your affection because they look so cute. <laughs> In Japan, you could do that, but like, especially for babies. Uh, but pinching cheek usually means uh, that the person is trying to check if they are not dreaming or not. It's like the first thing they think if I do this, people think, oh, then I'm thinking that something is unbelievable, dreamlike. So if you see a Japanese drama and the student gets into the dream university or something, and they might go to check that it's the reality and they're not dreaming. You could pinch any part of the body, but the common one is the cheek. Not, the, not both sides. I mean, you could, but usually just one side. We also do this. This is like, I'm trying to be cute. <laughs> so yeah, I have definitely done that when taking a picture because it looks cute. <laughs> uh, so mainly girls tend to do this, but it's really just a pose. Doesn't really mean anything, it just looks cute. But you can jokingly do this when you are trying to be cute and you're asking some favor. So, onegai is like, please. <laughs> And you don't have to touch your cheek, uh, but you can also point your finger at yourself when you talk about yourself. 
Uh, that's another gesture that you might see a Japanese person does when they talk about themselves. They point the finger at themselves. <laughs> I hope I don't trigger anyone, but the, the gesture, like the killing yourself with a gun, that's not common in Japan either. So, uh, because, I mean, there is no gun culture. Well, almost none. If you want to pretend to kill yourself, uh, you do the seppuku way. So you stab and slice. It's a bit of a sensitive topic to talk about, but it's some cultural thing that you should know. Like we don't use the gun to, you know, do the ah, like oh kill me kind of pose. It's okay. Tsugi, pinky finger. We call it koyubi, like child finger. Uh, but you can also say akachan yubi, uh, the cutesy term, akachan, the baby finger. This can mean pinky promise. The word for promise is yakusoku. So you can say yakusoku da yo or yakusoku ne to mean you promise. And Japanese kids do this very scary vow. In English, it's just pinky promise, and it sounds super cute. Japanese kids say yubikiri, which literally means finger cut off. The Japanese kids sing this horrible song. Yubikiri genman uso tsuitara hari senbon no masu. Yubikita. So yubikiri genman means pinky swear. 10,000 punches. Uso tsuitara. If you lie. Hari senbon no masu. I will make you swallow a thousand needles. <laughs> and then you say, Yubikita. We cut off our fingers. Really grim, but it's. You will be shocked to hear that it's so common, it's so normal for kids to sing this song. I swear everyone knows this song. Maybe it's a little different depending on the region, but basically almost everyone uh, <laughs> threatens you to cut uh, uh, punch you 10,000 times and uh, make you swallow a thousand needles. <laughs> if you don't believe me, ask your friends. Ugh. So it's scary, but <laughs> this pinky finger can also mean a lover, especially a female one. This can be like the slang for girlfriend or lover. So when a guy does this, they're trying to ask if you have a girlfriend or lover or if you're with a girl and a Japanese guy does this they're asking if it's your girlfriend or lover so yeah but this is not very common anymore I think it was much more common like many years ago and this can also mean four as in number four. So, how do you guys count using your fingers? So, some people might do like this one, two, three, four, five, or some people might go one, two, three, four, five, right? A lot of Japanese people tend to count from the thumb. So, each, ni, San, shi, go. Okay, each ni san shi go, and that's how I count as well. There will be fireworks in three, like three, two, one. Then they do three, two, one. San ni ich. But if we are counting objects or people, then we go each ni san shi go, rok shi hach kyu ju, and after ten minutes. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys count. Now that we're talking about numbers, let's talk about 
money. <laughs> so this gesture means money or uh, implying that the other person is rich or somebody is rich. So you have to make a hole like this and move this way. You, you don't really just go this way because this gesture means okay. Roger that. Okay, all right. And this means money. So <laughs> I know this in some countries means something sexual. Again, uh, you're making a hole, so yeah. You don't even need this finger. <laughs> but in Japan, this doesn't mean anything sexual. It's not any hole. Like you're creating the alphabet O. Uh, so, okay. Again, this is not creating a hole for somebody to stick something in. <laughs> it just is like the shape of the coin. Okay? In other countries, I've seen people do this. So you have to actually move your fingers like this, I think. And then you're, I think, counting or moving bills, right? Like paper bills. Well, it's, we prefer coins in Japan. <laughs> so if you get your bonus, you can do... <laughs> Tsugi, can you guess what means? <laughs> so this means なるほど. <laughs> wow, that makes sense. Wow, now I understand. I see. <laughs> I will listen on なるほど. Check that out. But yeah, it's like ah, oh, makes sense. <laughs> or uh, you can do this when you come up with a good idea. So I was actually translating a uh, manga and the character did and the onomatopoeia was like POM and that's the sound for like knocking your yeah palm like this. So POM and it's like ah huh, I came up with a good idea. So you probably would see somebody go ah soda like oh i got an idea so just hit your palm lightly right if you do this motion it's entirely different thing it is the grinding sesame seeds again okay? i have a lesson on this and i think it's a good lesson so please watch it and this means you're sucking up to somebody or somebody is sucking up to somebody. So yeah, brown noser. Anyway, this means I see, right? But <laughs> another gesture that is very important uh, if you want to live in Japan is just nodding. So if you're listening to somebody, you want to nod like this. You don't have to go and stop. You have to constantly know like you are some doll <laughs> like, and make these sounds. Yeah, it's very important, okay? Like I've heard so many stories where a Japanese company accepted some interns from the US and uh, Japanese bosses were very angry because uh, they wouldn't note like other Japanese <laughs> people and <laughs> it looked like they're not listening um, yeah so the the mannerism is very different so when you're listening to somebody you want to really like go this way <laughs> and also crossing your legs is considered rude in Japan it, it's fine if you're on the train or you're like at the you know restaurant and you're just having dinner with your friends or something but if you're at the meeting for example and you're kind of a mm, low-level employee or just like you're not the CEO or you know the boss 
then crossing legs is considered a bit arrogant so be careful chewing gums also is considered quite rude so don't do it during like an important meeting or you know when you're talking to somebody older than you like yeah okay to get this can you guess what it means this means come here so i think in the west people tend to do this gesture instead uh whilst in japan we do this <laughs> and this i think in the us at least means go away like, shoo. but if you want to do the shoo in japan we do like bigger motion like dokai ke go away <laughs> Uh, but this like tiny motion, it's like come here. <laughs> so I'd say kochi kite to mean come here. Tsugi. <laughs> this can mean quite a few things. Uh, so this can mean please, like onegai. So you're begging. Or you are saying sorry. So when you want to say, I'm sorry in Japanese, we go, Gomen, Gomen. This is very common. It doesn't look very apologetic if somebody just says, Gomen, without using any body parts. Gomen. This is like, I'm sorry, not. <laughs> so if you're really sorry, you want to go, Gomen, Gomen. So you probably have seen the folded hands emoji and that emoji could be used for praying i think in some countries or depending on the person uh but japanese people don't use this folded hands emoji as praying but rather like apologizing or begging or i heard that some people use it as high five and i guess it looks like high five but i've never used it as high five it's always like thank uh, saying sorry or saying please or sometimes saying thank you like if somebody is doing me a favor uh, and I want to thank them I also use the emoji like arigato Japanese people when they thank they also apologize at the same time they go ah honto ni gomen arigato o gomen arigato arigato gomen sumimasen arigato gozaimasu it's very common even when speaking formally sumimasen arigato gozaimasu like if somebody holds the door for you you'd say sumimasen arigato gozaimasu i'm sorry thank you like we are saying sorry to mean like sorry for your trouble sorry that uh, you had to do this for me uh, it's very Japanese thing to do, saying sorry while thanking somebody. <laughs> anyway, this can mean like sorry, right? You could do this when speaking formally, so when saying sumimasen, but for business situation, you want to bow. So depending on how apologetic you want to look, you change the <laughs> how deep you go, but the standard for business is 45 degree when apologizing. So, like, like maybe this. Anyway, uh, 15, this is like saying hello, um, like casual hi. And 30 degrees, that's more formal. Uh, so you want to do that when you enter your client's house or something but the most common one you probably see it is the 15 degree one <laughs> and that's like saying hi thank you casually so uh yeah uh, it's uh, i naturally do it if somebody again holds the door for me i'd say ah, sumimasen, arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> i actually did this sorry thank you <laughs> in the uk and I did that to old British people and they were they looked so confused. They were like like what what's that girl doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I know it looks weird. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I used to do that even 
outside of Japan when like crossing the road like if the car waits for me now I just raise hand because that's what the locals do but like I used to go <laughs> like bowing while running or bowing while walking and I know it probably like very weird <laughs> But yeah, bowing is very important in Japanese culture. Like saying hello, konnichiwa, saying sorry, moshiwaki arimasen, or sumimasen. Uh, but yeah, when you're saying sorry to your friends, you don't have to bow, you can, like, man. You actually, instead of properly bowing, like with your back straight, it's more like you know, doing this, uh, curving your back, so you look smaller, you know? So you do, ah, gomen, hontou ni gomen. Because if you stand straight, it looks like you're proud, right? And you should be, but when apologizing, you really want to look like you're weak. You know, you just want to praise the other person. <laughs> like I said, you can like bow while walking, <laughs> right? When the car waits for you. Uh, but you can also do when you want to get through the crowd. So you want to cut through some line or like, you know, there's a bunch of people and you have to uh, go through them then you can like do this motion so it's like chop karate chop and you go <laughs> he says sumimasen, sumimasen. it's really weird i don't know why we do it but we do it <laughs> all right uh before we finish i want to teach you that we don't do fingers crossed so this is not japanese at all uh people wouldn't know what this means if you do it also knocking on wood um doesn't really exist in japanese culture so you you can of course do this and do this but expect that japanese people probably look confused but yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends also i have new merch so check out my merch store <laughs> and i'd like to thank all my patrons and people who donated on coffee uh thanks to you guys i can keep making videos so thank you so much and if you want to join them then go check out my patreon link uh, I also do monthly group video chat now, so yeah, you guys can talk to me, practice Japanese. All right, thank you so much. Uh, the last gesture is waving hand. This is yeah, very common in a lot of countries, but in Japan, also very, very, very common when saying bye bye. <laughs> we wave hands and it doesn't look childish okay ja matane bye bye